Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Alil, and today we're going to talk about odd and even numbers with a special guest, which is my little pup Gordy. Say hello, Gordy. Hi. So we're also going to do some word problem solving for light switch and bus stop. So now, remember this, it's the most important part ever. Well, not really, but it's for me. Before we get into the video, please subscribe, like, and share to my channel. Thanks for your support. Now, on to the video because Gordy is very excited. Right, Gordy? Yes. So, first, for odd and even numbers. Each whole number has, well, it goes to its own family. There is only two family members. There's the odd number family and the even number family. So for the odd number family, there are numbers that end in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 go in the odd number family. Get it, Gordy? You've been asking me this question so many times. I get it. So it's good. For example, 41. Is 41 an odd number? Well, yes, because it 41 ends in a 1. And 1 is an odd number because it says number that ends in 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 are odd numbers. So, 41 works. Now, let's look at 243. 243, is that an odd number? Well, yes, because 3 is an odd number. Now, let's look at even numbers. Gordy, I think you will learn pretty fast. Even numbers are numbers that end in 2, 4, 6, 8, and 0. For example, 52. 52 is an even number because it ends in a 2, and 2 is an even number. Now, what about 276? Well, 6 is an even number, so that also works. Now, let's play a little game. Honestly, Gordy really loves to play games, so we're going to do this together. So it says, identify. Circle all the even numbers. First, we have 23. Is 23 an even number? Well, Gordy, tell me what it is. Ah, good job, Gordy. You got it correct. 23 is not an even number. It's an odd number because it ends in a 3, and 3 is an odd number. Now, let's move on to 45. Is 45 an even number? Well, it's my turn to tell you. So, 45 is not an even number. It is also an odd number because it ends in a 5, and again, 5 is an odd number. Now, is 56 an even number? Well, it's your turn to figure it out. So, pause this video and think about it. Well, I think you've got to try. So, 56 is an even number because it ends in a 6. And, well, 6 is an even number. Now, we can circle that. Next, let's look at 73. Is 73 an even number? Well, let's see. 73, it ends in a 3. And 3, is 3 an even number, Gordy? Oh, he says no. 3 is an odd number. Well, Gordy is absolutely correct. 73 does not work. Now, let's move on to 62. Does 62 work? Well, yes, because it ends in a 2, and 
two is an even number. So let's circle that. Now let's move on to thirty-four. Is that an even number? Well, please pause this video again so you can try it. Well, I think you've got to go at it. So, thirty-four. If you said that that was an even number, then you're absolutely correct. If you said that it was an odd number, well, you're kind of wrong. But it's okay. Never give up and try again later. So, thirty-four is an even number. We can circle that. Now, let's move on to eighty-four. Is eighty-four an even number? Well, Gordy says yes. Eighty-four is an even number. Well, Gordy is absolutely correct. Good job, Gordy. You're such a good pup. Now let's move on to twenty-nine. Is twenty-nine an even number? Well, no, because It ends in a nine, and nine is an odd number, so we can't circle that. Now let's move on to fifty-seven. Now you can try it again, and I think you will get the hang of it. Okay, so fifty-seven is not an even number. It is an odd number because it ends in a seven, and seven is an odd number. Now for the last one, it's kind of big, but we're just gonna do the same thing. Is one hundred thirty-four an even number? Well, yes, because it ends in a four, and four is an even number, so we can circle that. Yay, we did it right! Good job, Gordy, and good job to you too. Now on to the next. Task. Now let's move on to word problems. The first one is about the light switch. As Leo, which is also me, came home at night, she turned on the switch. The light was off. She flipped the light switch five more times. The light was still off. She figured it must be power off. The question is: When the power is on, the light in her home is on or off? Well, this is where our best fingers come in. I'm sorry, Gordy, but you can't count your fingers because you only have four fingers per paw. Yeah. So we'll use my fingers. We have the first time I switch it, the light is on, and then it's off. The third time is on, and then off, and then on, and then off again. So we figured it out. It's off. Well, let's use a chart to represent this. The first time I flick it, it's gonna be on. The second time it's off. The third time it's on. The fourth time it's off. The fifth time it's on. And the sixth time is off. So you're probably thinking, what does this have to do with even and odd numbers? Well, for the odd number of times I flick the switch, like here, the first time I flick it, it's on. The third time I flick it, it's on. And the fifth time I flick it, it's on. It's gonna be on. And for the even number of times I flick it, it's gonna be off because. Right here, the second time I flick it, it's off. The fourth time I flick it, it's off, and the sixth time I flick it, it's off. So here's a question. I'm not gonna be absolutely crazy, but what if I flip the light switch one hundred times? Well, this time our good fingers won't come in so handy anymore, but this method will work. So one hundred is an even number because it ends in a zero. So for the even number of times, it's off. So if I flip it one hundred times, it's also going to be off. 
Now let's do another harder question, but I think Gordy and us can do it. A bus is at West Stop. It takes off to East Stop on first trip, then comes back to West Stop on second trip. After eight trips, where is the bus park? West Stop or East Stop? Hmm, good question. Well, right here I have an animation. First, it's at the West Stop, the cartoon bus, and then it goes to the East Stop, and then back, and then so on. So here. I have the chart again, but it doesn't show all eight trips. I just want you to know the, well, the way to do it. So the first time, the first trip, I, the bus goes to the east side. The second trip, it goes to the west side, and the third trip, it goes to the east. The fourth trip, it goes to the west. So after eight trips, where is the bus park? Well, for the odd number of trips, right here, the first trip is at the east, and the third trip is at the east. So the odd number of trips is at the east stop. And now the even number of trips, the second trip and the fourth trip, is both at the west stop. So we put that. So the question is, if the bus. Goes to the eighth trip. Which side is it? Is it the west stop or the east stop? Well, eight is an even number because it's eight. And so, for the even number of trips, the bus goes to the west stop. So, for eight trips, it goes to the west stop. We figured it out. Good job to you and me and Gordy. Did you like this video? Well, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it with Gordy. Well, Gordy sure learned a lot of things, didn't you, Gordy? Yes. Well then, bye bye and stay safe. And always remember this: math is fun. <laughs>